So what do you think of American politics? Well, that's a very uh, broad question. I think they're very, very important for the world overall because a lot of what goes on in the world is very affected by what happens in America. Uh, currently, I think American politics are uh, pretty messy to say the least. Um, obviously, since the last election, there's a lot of stuff going on um, where it seems like someone is um, in the role of president just for the fame or the popularity or whatever it might be. So at the moment, um, watching American politics, I think, on one hand, it's really messy, and on the other hand, um, with things that are going on with um, uh, gun control and things of that nature, it's, it's really, really affecting our generation. Um, I don't know too much about American politics, but what I've seen like in the news, and especially like over Twitter and a lot of the uh, social media platforms, it's like going very poorly. And up until like this point, there's been a lot of controversy like in the news over him and like especially the president and like his elected like team. And it just it's very racist. <laughs> like it's a very controversial area right now. I think they're sort of in the toilet right now. There's a lot of controversy and the divide between Democrats and Republicans seems deeper than ever, so it's pretty bad. So what do you think of Donald Trump? Donald Trump, uh, from my side, I don't, I don't like him. First of all, he's a racist person. Uh, what, 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 like he's saying he's going to ban the Mexicans from coming to the U.S. He's going to ban Muslims to go to the U.S. He's very impulsive. He'll kind of tend to just do things, uh, even if it's like not the best solution. Even when people are telling him that it's not the best solution, he'll kind of just do certain things, like just whatever, whatever he wants. And I don't know, he's probably not the best person to be leading a country, someone who's impulsive in that way. I don't hate him as much as some people do, but there are definitely, uh, there are definitely some things he does that I, I wouldn't agree with, and I think a lot of people would agree with that. Um, I think Donald Trump is someone that's best fit for reality TV as opposed to um, the Oval Office. Um, I remember watching the whole election as it was going on and definitely didn't think that Donald Trump would be elected, but um, I think that also showed the kind of people that are, are living in America right now. Um, and it's unfortunate that some people still have um, some beliefs that they do, but um, again, Donald Trump is kind of like leading that whole thing, so definitely not a fan. Um, and hopefully something is done soon and whoever is in the Oval Office next is a leader that people can actually get behind. I think he's an idiot. <laughs> I know that's a little... But like just especially like I don't think he was right to be elected as president. Like he comes from more of like um, entertainment background. He's not meant like to be in like a presidential stance. And he's also not like professional enough to be in that stance. And with his past and like previous um, acclaims like made towards him. I don't think that he should, because if this was a past president and those like claims that had been made, then he would have been taken out and impeached, but yet nothing's happened so far, so. I don't think he's a very good human being, uh, an even worse president. The things that he does uh, would have gotten so many past presidents indicted or like kicked out of the country, so it's kind of ridiculous. So how do you think Canadians are affected by the American politics? Canadians are affected by the American pol uh, politics because they are their neighbors. If anything bad happens to the US, it's going to affect. If that stupid guy in the North Korea decides to <laughs> shoot a rocket toward the US, the Canadians will suffer. Uh, also, the free trade agreement that uh, Trump wants to, uh, to cancel, to end it, will really affect the trade, the, the exports. Because you know, we know that uh, there, there is a high trade between uh, Canada and the US. If that agreement is cancelled, then there will be lots of problems in the American trade. It will affect the American, uh, the American, uh, what they call it, economy. Well, Canadians are dependent on America for a lot of things economically. Um, we're very affected by trade, for example. Like, uh, I know they just recently announced uh, tariffs that could affect our uh, our steel and aluminum exports to them, so that would be harmful to our economy. Definitely, because we are we're neighbors basically with America. I think a lot of the ideologies that are affecting America at the moment, um, some ideologies that are are very harmful to people, have been exposed more in Canada. I know a lot of people like to think that um, because we're Canadian, we don't really think the same way as Americans do, but it's very apparent that there are some things that are going on in. America that are married in Canada. Well I think that a lot of times that uh, Canada feels a lot of pressure put on by the states especially like 
with everything going with the net neutrality, I felt like um, Canada also like felt kind of like the same pressure to when the states, were, they're kind of like our counterparts, so when they do something that we're, we almost feel pressured. I think they're affected hugely because they're like our biggest trading partner, they're our direct neighbor, things like um, the NAFTA agreement or like free trade or especially things to do with Canadian dairy producers are really feeling that effect right now and I think it's just going to get worse and worse.